Yo, what's up guys? It's Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we are talking about what I believe is one of the most important, if not the most important thing when it comes to setting up your Shopify store and that is picking your product. All right, so in this video, I'm not necessarily gonna go over the actual mechanics of picking your product, like going on AliExpress, you know, picking your product, importing it, all that kind of stuff. I'm actually gonna do that in a video tomorrow. It's gonna be super lit. I don't think that anybody has shown this technique, this specific technique that I use. In this video, we are gonna be talking about specifically sort of the, the blueprint and the DNA of a good product. And what I see so many people out there doing right now is they go out and they find like, you know, the watch niche, that's kind of popular, right? So then they find a watch, just a random watch that they think is good or a friend thinks they're good or they think that somebody might like, right? And they bring it to general pages. They bring it to, you know, like a meme page. They bring it to men's fashion pages, maybe a watch page or something. And there's, you know, 500 other people promoting the same watch or something similar. And then they promote it, they spend 50 bucks, whatever, they get no sales, they get no likes, they get no views on their website and you know they're out 50 bucks and then they say it's a scam right so how do you pick a product that actually that you will know will convert right well there's four different factors I want to jump into those right now so let's jump in all right so number one in my opinion is that the product has to appeal to a, a very specific audience uh, man it's hard to type and talk okay so it has to appeal to a very specific audience so instead of taking that general watch that generic watch by generic I don't mean cheap or you know bad quality or whatever I mean that it doesn't appeal to anyone specific it's just kind of general um, instead of taking that and promoting on like a meme page or a men's fashion page where there's not really a whole lot of targeting what if you took that same watch or actually not the same watch a different watch that say had like a sea turtle on it or maybe a shark or something, and then you promoted it on ocean life pages or sea turtle pages or shark pages or something like that. Now you have a very specific audience and a very specific product that you're providing them. Because listen, this is what so many people get wrong. It's that you don't provide a product to the marketplace. You do, but you don't force it onto the marketplace. The marketplace tells you what they want and you provide that in return for them, if that makes sense. So. If the market is looking for a certain type of product and you find that through research, which I'll talk about tomorrow, um, then that's when you can jump in because they have money, they have you know the interest, they have all the people that are interested in it. That's why there's a niche place or a niche uh, page in the first place. They have all that for you. They're just starving for a product. If you provide them that product, there's no doubt that they're going to part with their money and they're going to give you uh, you know a sale. So that's why you want to appeal to a very specific audience. The second reason that you want to is because, um, you know, I know a lot of you guys only have 50, 100, 150 bucks, whatever, to spend on ads, right? And once you spend that, you're kind of done. You don't have any more money. So if you, if you start advertising on like a general thing, like say general watches, right? So Rolex, movement watches, swatch watches, those are big brands. They have big marketing budgets behind them. They're spending multi-million dollars a year on marketing. Um, you know, they have testimonials, they have a brand reputation, they have all that. You don't have that. So when they advertise on general areas, they can do it because they have money and they have a brand behind them. Because you don't, it makes it much tougher. So you're gonna spend your $50 and you might not make it back any return. Now, if you find a product that has a very specific audience and you provide it, there's that market and product match, they match, you spend $50, you might make back your $50, you might make $100, right? It's just a much better chance. And you wanna you know, spend your capital in ways that you can actually make back money. And in my opinion, specific audiences are the absolute best way to make back your money, especially if you're a beginner with like, you know, not as much of an ad budget. So number two is that the product has to have some popularity, okay? And what I mean by this is that there's so many people, myself included when I first started, that just go out and find a product that they like or that they think somebody might like, but they do no research on it. They have no idea if it's a popular product or if people actually like it, right? So what ends up happening is they make no sales and there's, there's no engagement on their post, on their shout out, whatever it is. Now, if I break down, which I did with my own website and I have done with other people's websites, you break it down, you look on AliExpress and you're like, yo, there's only like 20 orders on this. Nobody's gonna, that's why nobody's buying is because it's not a very popular product. Now, if you were to find a product that has like 1,500, maybe 2,000 orders on it on AliExpress, which we'll talk about tomorrow, um, you know, the very specifics of this. But if you find a product that has, you know, couple thousand orders that means it's probably a pretty popular product and you're gonna have a better chance of actually being able to make a sale provided that it's in that very specific audience like we talked about before so number three is that um, the product needs 
to have some virality. And what I mean by this is it doesn't necessarily have to be like a fidget spinner. It doesn't have to be, you know, cloud goggles or um, there's certain phone cases out there that are super viral, right? Um, it doesn't have to be that where it's like multi, multi million dollars and it's just a huge trend. You can pick that. It might ride it out for maybe like three months or so. You'll make a ton of money if you come in at the right time. But uh, that's not necessarily what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is more that inside the niche, say you're in a cat niche and you're posting this cat toy and you got a great video, you got a great photo, whatever it is, it's super cute. People are sharing it, they're commenting, they're tagging their friends, they're liking it. That page is getting out to more people. So you're basically getting free advertisement because this page or this post that you did and this product is viral. Um, you know, you're getting free advertisement and you're getting out to more people just because it's a viral product. So in my opinion, that's one of the best ways to actually get more sales is if you have a product that's, uh, you know, it's first of all, it has to be kind of popular, but if it has that viral potential and if you can get like a viral video going with it, man, you are golden. And a lot of times you can find actual, you know, viral videos for certain products if you do enough searching on YouTube or whatever. And number four is that the product, in my opinion, the product uh, needs to have at least uh, $100,000 dollar potential okay and the reason why is not only you know so you can make money but it's also for the longevity of your business right if you were promoting a product uh, and this goes with the popularity and virality most of these products are gonna have way over a hundred thousand dollar potential right but if you're promoting a product that only has like you know two thousand dollar five thousand dollar potential and you can usually kind of tell uh, you know how much potential a product has just by looking at it right but if you're promoting say like some rings or whatever that only have a two to five thousand dollar potential that means that you're going to cap out and you're going to have to do this whole process over and find another product uh, to promote and you're going to have to do that like every two weeks every month whatever it is because you cap out but if you find a product that has a hundred thousand dollar potential that means that you can sell that product over the course of a couple months and not burn out um, you know eventually it probably will burn out just because that's the nature of the game and you're going to have to find a new one anyway but at least your business can you know, last a little bit longer than just a few, few weeks, a few months um, before you have to go find some more products. In my opinion, these are the four products or the four factors that I look for in every single product. Like I said, we're gonna go over the mechanics of how to actually do this tomorrow. I'm gonna be talking about some super ninja stuff that I don't think has been talked about on YouTube yet in terms of how to actually use Instagram and use people's pages and what they like in order to actually find, you know, um, high converting products. And that's something that's super cool that I'm super excited to bring to you guys. But if you're pumped for that content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be one of the first to check it out. Because like I said, uh, I don't think anyone's talked about this on YouTube. So you're gonna be the first ones to go check it out and jump on it. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and leave me a comment. What do you wanna see in the future? I'm trying to help you guys out as much as possible. Everybody, we're trying to get to $100 a day at least, and that is the bare minimum. Like I said, go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video tomorrow.